Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this educational style modern slideshow animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Let's make this 1920 by 1080. That is full HD, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render. Hit OK. Let's create another new composition, which is going to be our image placeholder. So let's call this image and set the width and height to 1500 by 1500 okay and then i can drag and drop in the image that i want to use here and let's bring that down just like so all right let's go back into our main render com and start building up our scene so hit ctrl y to create a new solid gonna keep this black as of now and go into effects and presets and add a fill gonna give it kind of an off whitish bluish tone just like so all right and then select the rectangle tool and let's create a shape like so go into rectangle one rectangle path one and we can unlink this and create the shape manually so let's set this to around 1500 and I'm going to set the height to 700. So I think that looks pretty nice, maybe 730 or something like that. And then change the roundness of the shape to around 80. So that is looking pretty nice. Maybe I'll set this to 100. Yeah. All right, so before we move ahead with this video, make sure you have subscribed to the channel as a lot of effort goes behind creating these tutorials from planning to recording to editing. And if you have ever considered becoming a YouTuber, then you should definitely check out Demo Creator, our today's sponsor. Demo Creator is suitable for all content creators, educators, students, and business professionals. There is something for everyone. Create your video presentation in a super easy way. It can help you to create and stream more engaging, meaningful and virtual video presentations in just a few clicks. You can even stream presentations, gameplay at 120fps, create stunning virtual avatars and more. And you can not only record it but even edit your videos in the demo creator itself and make them look professional by adding inbuilt effects and dynamic transitions. You can record screen, edit videos, add effects and create professional looking video presentations in just a few clicks with Demo Creator from Wondershare. For more info, click the first link in the description below. Then hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's move this holding shift like so. And then drag and drop in the image composition that we just created. Scale this down. Something like so maybe. Place it right over here. And, that, and then what I'm going to do is select the shape layer 2. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it bring this right here and hit u two times to reveal all the properties and let's adjust the width so i can actually hide the image and let's um, adjust the width like so let's increase the height and there we go looking pretty nice and i'm going to call this mask So here we have our image. I can drop this below and change the track mat of this to alpha mat. Now, if you don't see this track mat option, press F4 on the keyboard and that should make it visible. So it's looking pretty nice. Now let's create a new null object and select all the layers except the background and parent this to this null. So I can select the null, press R and rotate it by around six to seven degrees just to give it a really interesting look and as you can see our image is getting chopped off here so i can just make this a bit bigger so it fits in properly 
and that is the uh, basic design so now let's animate the shape we can delete the null by the way so what i'm going to do is first of all let's animate the image so let's go to two seconds and select the mask press p to bring down the position create a keyframe and also press r to bring down the rotation and create a keyframe select the image hit s to bring down the scale property and create a keyframe then i can select both the layers and then hit u so we can just see the keyframes not u two times but one time yeah then go back and let's scale this image to around 120 should be fine i know it's a bit too much oh my okay 120 not 1200 okay 120 looks fine select the mask and let's bring that down like so and then hit r to rotate it just like that so we have something like this which looks pretty nice but as you can see the image is getting cropped here so i need to increase the size of this image a bit more like around 130 and let's see still so what i'm going to do is move this keyframe a few frame forward in time so around two second and ten frames should be fine a bit more so around two second fifteen frames yep that is absolutely perfect then i'm going to hit u so we can see all the keyframes select the keyframes you can hit f9 or right click keyframe assistant easy ease go into the graph right click and select edit speed graph select all the points and drag this to the left holding shift so now when i preview this we have a really nice and smooth looking animation so yeah pretty nice now let's animate the remaining two shapes so let's select these two shapes press p to bring down the position create a keyframe press r to bring down the rotation create a keyframe hit u so we can see all the keyframes go at the very start and i'm going to pull this and i'll make sure to select one at a time and um, pull this one out and then uh, rotate it like so and then i'm going to pull this one out and rotate it like this so now we have something like this pretty nice we can select all the keyframes go into the graph editor make sure you press f9 and then again select the graph and tweak this just like so so now we have a very nice looking animation pretty cool one more thing i can do just to add a little bit of uh, interesting look to this complete composition is select this shape press ctrl d to duplicate it call this line and put it on the top and then let's hit r to bring down the rotation go right here and rotate it or offset it just like a little bit and set the fill to none and let's add a stroke with something like of around uh, five should be good and make sure to pick the same color so it adds a really nice and interesting look and we can also adjust the position if you want to but i think this is looking fine it's completely optional but i think it looks pretty good maybe i'll offset it a little bit so we get a really nice look yeah that is looking great now let's go ahead and add our text so let's select the text tool and i'm going to type in modern slideshow now for the font i'll go and select a very interesting font called zilla slap select the regular version bring down the size first of all select the second text and then i can select a bold version just to add a little bit of contrast to the typography all right and then i can actually just adjust this a little bit and then let's go ahead and animate this so to animate it i'll be using a very simple technique with the animate go ahead and add a position and going to add property and add an opacity let's bring down the position like around 50 should be good and bring down the opacity to zero go at the range selector so i'm going to go at around somewhere around there set the offset all the way up to 100 create a keyframe go back and set this to minus 100 go into advanced property and set this from character to words i believe 
yep and then change the shape to ramp up set the ease high to around 30 and ease low to all the way up to 100 so i think it should be smoother yeah now if you want you can add some more text like if i want i can just simply duplicate this and add a tagline so let's call this something like elegant design i'm gonna make this bold and bring down the size i'll also change the color to something like a nice gray and let's place this a bit forward in time so there we go looking pretty nice i think and for the background i will be using text as a background element so for that simply select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want to type i'm going to type in modern because this is a modern style slideshow and uh, basically it looks more like an educational style slideshow so let's bring this up and for the color i'll go with a complete white and make sure you place this in the background and for the font i'll be i will be using babis pro bold and increase the size like so make sure you turn them into full caps so there we go and again i'm going to increase the size like that let's align this into the center and for the font let's go with a book font instead of bold and let's bring them closer like so so that way it looks pretty nice maybe book is a bit too thin let's go with regular yeah and then let's animate the background so to animate this i will be using a very simple technique of movement so select the text press p to bring down the position create a keyframe and go all the way up to 10 seconds and move them just like so so we have a continuous movement in the background which looks pretty damn cool i think and let's animate the opacity of the text so hit t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe go back and set this to zero so now we have something like this maybe i'll increase the duration a bit and boom there we have our modern style educational slideshow animation inside of after effects without using any plugins so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you want me to make more slideshow related tutorials you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and if you're feeling generous please do support us on patreon and get access to a lot of amazing templates so with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out